All right, so as long as we're at it, I'll do the video on the VFO. This is really what, what started this whole project. Pete Giuliano had spotted this thing on, uh, on eBay, and he knew that I was interested in variable capacitors, traditional old-style variable capacitors uh, with interesting kind of gearing arrangements. And you could see in, in this VFO, they have some quite interesting gearing going on in there, mechanical gearing. And so he that's why he recommended that I get it. So I I always do what Pete recommends and I uh immediately bought the thing on on eBay and I was pleasantly surprised when it arrived to find that it wasn't just the uh the VFO. It wasn't just the the the, the capacitor and the gears, but the entire VFO assembly from uh the Yesu FT101B was in there and it looked like it was in really pristine condition almost almost perfect so wow i decided let's look into this even further and i was pleased to find that the thing tunes from about 8.64 megahertz up to about 9.32 megahertz which is a, a really interesting band of frequencies for our purposes and it's right in the range of what we need to make a a MythBuster transceiver, that is a transceiver in which the filter is at 5.2 megahertz and that the oscillator is running around 9 megahertz. This allows us to, um, to, to have the, the, the happy situation in which uh, 75 meters will come out uh, LSB because of sideband, oh, not not because of sideband, because that's the way you're 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 gonna because of sideband inversion. Actually, that's right. And then on 20 meters, it'll come out USB because there will be no sideband inversion there. So that's what we're we're working on here. And I, I looked, I went to the internet, the source of all electronic uh, information, and found a really a quite quite nice circuit diagram for this thing. And I was able to go through and identify the leads coming out. The green green lead is to a, a clarifier circuit, basically an RIT circuit. The red circuit needs about six volts, uh, positive six volts, and the yellow is the output. So I didn't even need to cut any, any holes in this thing. I just used holes that were already there and used some heat shrink tubing. I have the output coming out with a little piece of, of cable, and then I have... Um, the uh, the red for the this plus six volts and this green green is for the clarifier if I ever decide to use it, but I hooked it up to the scope and um, it looked looked quite quite nice. Uh, I mean I, I was able to check it out, take a look. This the the, the waveform is perfect. It's it's very very stable. I I'm trying to see. I have my notes here. Let's see, um, let's see. Um, oh yeah. Um, it looks like it puts out across a, um, uh, a, a across a 50 ohm low. It looks like it puts out about 290 uh, millivolts RMS. So I may have to play with that a little bit to get the the oscillator at the appropriate level for the um, for the mixer, the first mixer that I'm going to use. But it's really it's quite nice and it's uh, very uh, ready to go. I I mounted it on a piece of PC board here because you could see that this is all sort of evolving in our standard uh, kind of pine board uh, fashion here. And at least in the prototype stage, it'll be on the pine board like this, right? And then let me show you how else it's, how, how this project is developing. So behind the pine board, cables falling all over here, Behind that, I will have, oops, the filter and the TIA amps. And then over here, we have the crystal oscillator and the BFO. And then audio amplifier over here. I think we can see that. There we go. Audio amplifier there. And then over on this side of the board, I'll probably build the, um, the bandpass filters um, maybe the RF amplifier, the mixer will be over here. And then I'll have space somewhere along here to, to actually build the some of the transmitter circuitry and turn this thing into a transceiver. But receiver first. 
I always like uh, Farhan's advice when he was describing how to build the bid X20. And when you got to the point of where, the where you had built a done enough building for the receiver to work, Farhan advised uh, to stop working and to sit back and to spend the evening enjoying the receiver that you've just completed. So I'm giving priority to receiver construction here. Anyway, that's the, um, the VFO assembly. I thank Yesu and Pete Giuliano, 7-3.